a philanthropist, Chief Vincent Nwankwo of Oné in Orumba South local government area, has celebrated the 2022 New Year Festival in a grand style. The event, which took place at the Eza Kunna Villa at the Umu Eza Masa Village Oné, attracted relatives, representatives of the four villages that make up Oné. Members of Old Aguata Union, friends and associates of Chief Nwankwo, Queen Aniwago, completes the story. The cultural ceremony commenced with the celebrants, Chief Wankwa and his wife, Nkiyuruta, dancing to music from a live band which ushered them into the celebration arena, followed by opening prayers said by Mr. Tony Jude, an indigene of the community, and symbolic breaking of Kola knots. Roasted tubers of yams with local sauce we are brought to the celebrant who, after a few remarks, called the yams, signifying his celebration of the new yam festival. Earlier in his remarks, Chief Mwankwa explained that the cultural event is an annual event through which he uses to appreciate God for a fruitful farming year. He encouraged members of the Onem community not to relent in striving to better their lot in life and prayed for the well-being of all that came to witness the ceremony. Na futa ya azindu kun meme, maka na odin odin hemfe, mada ekonye hinu bi wati ya, dendu wa wati ya. So mbwa wana chine chigi merege bere, ekonye hinu bi, dekwa ndu wa wati ya, iskele chine ke. In her comments, the wife of the celebrant, Nkiruka, described farming as a very important part of the life of Ndibu, which if one engages in, will enjoy food security. She further noted that the New Year Festival, which is an avenue to appreciate providence for bountiful harvest, also serves as a way Ndibu have leisure to deal with stress accumulated over the farming season. <laughs> For the President General Emeritus to honor Mr. Uchenna Madubike, agriculture is one of the things the community is known for, but needs access roads to enable farmers to convert their farm produce to consumers. So, Rubo Demba, eh? Oya Kaja, Waji, Wajina, Gosi, Baya, Wo, Ijuwe, Wande, Madume, to encourage farmers, to encourage people to produce self sufficiency in agriculture. Also contributing, another indigene of the town, Chief Okechuku Mwafo, the celebrant is a notable philanthropist to the community who is passionate about helping people, irrespective of whether they are his friends or enemies, and mentioned several ways he has affected the less privileged positively. Individual groups paid homage to Chief Mwankwo while cultural dances and masquerading to the center stage. Chief Mwankwo, through his Eza Kunne Foundation over the years, have been building houses to the homeless, gave scholarships to indigenous students, and as well gave financial empowerment to many others. Queen Aniborgo, ABS News.